Hello everyone, and welcome back. My name's Nicholas, and this is Major Crit. And as you can tell from this gentleman's attire, we are on a case, a detective case. A number of items have been stolen on this train. That one combined could create an explosion, a sticky, yummy mess. So we need to track down the culprit before such a honey bomb set off. Not seeing anything that seems interactable in the cabin of the victim. Or one of the three victims, at least. Let's start with you. Staff might know. Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the night. We'll be stopping at Riverside, Riverside Station today, around dusk, I believe. We'll be making a stop. That might be a dangerous point. Good morning, mister. Thanks for the autograph yesterday. Little Bub sure has been in high spirits since yesterday. I wonder why he's so happy. Top of the morning to you, Gonzales. I'm afraid you saw us at our arguing worst yesterday. I feel rather ashamed. So at least they've calmed down, even if they haven't figured out the issue yet. Okay, that's Pennington. Assuming the shopkeeper is not going to be really involved in these things, it's just the shopkeeper. Hello, it is a good feeling day, isn't it, friend of mine? Yes, a delicious day. I'll make some food so delicious it will make the day mad. Oh, good morning. Is there any chances you've seen my jelly rings anywhere? I suspected she's just done trying to get her stuff back. Our cabin. No one would have like hidden anything in our cabin, right? Last place we would think to look. No. Right. Really isn't much intractable in the cabin. So if there's not something in the drawer, how about the ghost? Open okay, for some reason. Do I have to do this, or do you just like only come out at night? What's the deal? Good morning! Isn't the weather nice today? Is like today make me feel like I'm floating on air. We <laughs> haven't seen anyone, right? Oh. Yeah, okay, we did do already that one. I was hoping that the ghost might have seen things while invisible. What about you? Good morning, Mario. Have you been to the dining car yet today? I still can't believe I stole that pot of stew. It was like a bad, chowdery nightmare. Thanks for that incident. The cook and I are pals now. Isn't life weird? Seems like this guy is pretty much just so far involved with the food. I think the first case. wrapped up in the rest of what's going on. You're probably just going to ask me about your gold ring again. Well, hello, you, hello there, you cute, cuddly bear of a man. Uh, well, hello there, you cute, cuddly bear of a man, you. You're delightful, dear. Have you found my gold ring? Don't grow desperate now. I'm quite sure you'll be able to find it. Expected. She's just concerned about her missing item. Oh, hello. We got a vital paper. This looks like something very important and complicated. The other descriptions here just important and complicated. Well, we were suspicious of Zip Toad just because he seemed like a jerk. But. Now, he has gone missing, unless he's up here. Good morning to you, sir. You sleep well? We'll be making a stop at Riverside Station today. You'll love it, I assure you. So, the toad has gone missing. Now, all that's left behind is an important document. Perhaps an important document dropped from a briefcase? Let's find out. Let's see if the, uh, the rat recognizes it.
it all the way back up the train. How's my inventory? Okay. Oh, we shouldn't buy anything new. I haven't been really doing any fights this part of the adventure. We'll eventually. Sir, does this look familiar? Have you stumbled upon any new clues? Final paper. What is this paper, hmm? What sort of clue is this supposed to be? Eh, that's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal. What? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? Cabin one, you say, yes. The Toad's room. A place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Perhaps he's hiding somewhere on the train. Always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi. Find that zip toad. We've already been everywhere. Where could he be? Let's talk to the staff again. And the train will be stopping, which means... Do have a culprit on board, they'll have a chance to get off. Significantly make it harder for us to find them. Or even make it significantly harder for us to find them. I'm still suspicious. I can't remember. But that what I'm calling cabin zero. Still bugs me. Just an, an, an empty space. So there's room for a cabin, and yet there is none. None of our normal tricks. But you know, one thing we haven't tried on right yet. Sometimes you might be able to blow things up, even if they don't have the big break marks on them. No, but not this time. Zip toad. If there was a secret room there, he could hide there. I'm just gonna say the same thing again, right? Yep. Try the station. Let's check back in with the ghost. Alright, well, l let's talk to the lady in car number, or room number two. Have you seen your neighbor? Well, how they. Okay. Same. Previously, all right. So she's no use. I wish I could like actually ask these characters questions, right? Because like it would make sense. Like, have you heard or seen anything from the next door cabin? Have you seen any sign of Zip Toad today? Oh, uh, forward. Good. He's already out. Visible. Seems that there is someone in your cabin. I heard some rustling sounds in there a minute ago. All right, sweet. All right. So our last place we would look. It's too early on the looking in there. This be another clue. I say, another one of those documents. Yar, yar. I say, another one of those documents. The suspect must be in here somewhere. Or. the bed. Need to pull the Vivian trick again. I mean, I know we are hidden when we do this, but it's pretty obvious that, like, we've just been, like, pulled down into the ground. So, where do you come from? You'll be catching me that easily, guy. I was wondering if he'd, like, come out fully, but no, he was just kind of sticking his head out. Too predictable. Ouch! It's 
So this was a man all along, pretending to be zip toed I see. All the while pilf pilfering things from others to aid your evil plan. Yes, this was all, just as I had deduced. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, discolored nostril hair tipped me off. Those don't even have noses. And not only that, but I knew that you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses. Sorry, he was like Mr. Uh, movie star, wasn't he? Curses. I almost got away with it by getting off at Riverside Station 2. Yes, you played a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, fiend. The good people on this train are now safe. For indubitably, no one escapes from this improbably large brain. Um, well, yes. In any case, please return what you have stolen, Fink. Meh. <laughs> Got a briefcase. A heavy briefcase with nitro honey syrup and documents inside. Got a gold ring. The ring toodles also. It looks quite expensive. Got shell earrings. Earrings lost by the waitress. They remind her of her ex. She is a waitress. Right. <laughs> ah, my precious briefcase. Is a nitro honey syrup safe? Sorry, he's trying to do like a rat voice, but it's turning into toad voice. Here's your briefcase. The briefcase was returned. <laughs> I'm a rat. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank this. The stars, it's safe. I won't get the sack. Our rendezvous with disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of deductions. Bing bong, bing bong. That's not passengers. This train will soon make a brief schedule stop at Riverside Station. A chance for him to escape. Alright. What's gonna happen here? We're taking him off the train. Hey, I think not, Slick. You think you can hold me? No way. Belden would flip if I let that happen. You again! This old zip toad thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers. Dupless. Belden plans to goofy my Mario. Didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest to Belden. See ya, suckers! Yeah, they were not ready for that, I guess. How did he get out of the rope so? Wanna get outside for a second? The exit is in the first car. Yep. Going into a new area, so let's get Bella queued up to tattle on things. Car or room number zero still annoys me, but. So Mario, I think, doesn't know about the escape yet. Yeah, this is a new region, right? Yep. Yeah. In fact, ooh, um, should we do this first, actually? Shouldn't take us more than a minute. Turn the other things we found. So car number two. Two wheels. Your ring. Get a reward for this, that'd be nice. Yes, that is definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. I knew you'd find it without fail. It's merely a trifle, but please take this as my earnest thanks. Coins, nice. And do take care. Right, waitress. That is we probably will forget. Spend too much time off the train doing other adventuring things. Do -do -do. Hey, I got your earrings back. Here you go. Oh, there they are. These are my earrings. Thank you so much. Hey, and before I forget, I think this is my thanks. Oh, nice. Hey, is that the final one for the area? You were like the nicest old mustached overall wearing guy I've ever met. That's oddly specific. Sweet. 
cleared out the XS Express. Let's set up Riverside Station properly now. So, this whole first leg of the journey had no combat at all. Pretty much guaranteed to be getting into a lot of fights here. Maybe a rematch against Duplis? Is on the loose again in the area. Here, I'm gonna have to start doing this sort of thing again. It's so super cool looking! I wanna drive it right now! So Mr. Bob really likes trains, does he? Or does one buy a train? Oh no, what do we do? Someone's lifted the drawbridge. The train can't leave the station like this. Let's have him put it down. Talk to the station manager. I saw someone suspicious looking some suspicious looking shadowy people wearing hats go into the station. They must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch there. That switch hasn't been used in so long, I don't know where the control room is. Um, it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but... Since you are the famous Mario and all, can you go find him and throw that switch? Maybe? Sure thing. Really? That would be super! Super Mario! No time to get started like the present, so here's the station's entrance key. Oh, thank you so much! So what, on this express train... They just had us, like, stop by a, like, abandoned train station. That's supposed to be, like, good. Ugh. I've been cooped up in there breathing stale air too long. I go out and take a walk so I can build up an appetite for dinner. What sort of new things might we be looking at? Scan through earlier. See about new partners types of people. No, nothing new. All right. So we might be getting a new stage. Uh, as you might have seen, we're level 19 right now. So I believe it was level 10 when we got our first stage rank up. Ah, my dear Luigi. Our suspect was not only a fake zip toad, he was some monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspected. Bad he gave us a slip like that, though. It was rather a slippery sort. You could have questioned him about all the bed that Eldum business. This is Riverside Station. We've stopped to refuel. There's a quick drawbridge here from what pleasure boats cruise the canal. It hasn't been used since the canal was right up and turned to pasture. Wow. So, and also, how are you refueling here if there's no one here? And it's abandoned? I'm not sure the mechanics of this place. Badge up there. The way to get it. It's on a big platform though, so we could probably land there if we were flying. Elevator to bridge, bridge control room. Remember to always return the elevator key to the office. So we'll need the key. Ah, huh, I guess we need an elevator key. Right, so we go the long way around and then. Got. We can roll under. Hit. Nice. Posters on the wall. Blow those off with flurry. Is that going to help us out at all? Can move them. Unless I'm interested in the big one. Right. There was something underneath. I thought there would be something. Maybe more relevant, but I'll take an item. Doing this. The green key to get through there. Lots of keys in this place. I had it properly locked up. I just wonder how Beldum got through here. Okay, new enemy type. Wow. Alright, messed up my first hit, but whatever. I like the music here. Yeah. 
That should be enough to take you out, right? Okay, two star points, about average. Dude, that's not great. Not a tactic, it's an actual attack. Cattle. This means you're similar to the ones you fought back in Boggly Woods. This is a rough puff. Don't confuse them with dark puffs. Well, I don't think the, the world would end if you did confuse them, but anyway. I take three, seven, attack is four, defense is zero. It's too bad you are charged themselves with electricity before unleashing lightning. Oh, and if you touch them while they're charged, they'll get a shock. They'll absorb any lightnings to attack you throw their way, so don't do that. Wish I had hammer throw. I don't really want to use my multi-target attacks here. Any sort of range thing? No. I mean, Earth Tremor would not finish him off. You just defend. Great. So... Quick sweet treat. Just to have something to do. Nope. Nope. Great. Lost four health. So if I can get four. There we go. Back full after this. Does that anyone have. I mean, honestly. Just. I hate it when they go invisible like that. Like, there, there's nothing you can do. You just have to wait. Right. Especially when it's the only guy on the screen. There we go. Yeah, sorry. Oh. <laughs> well, we're gonna smack this guy good. He's going down. Fight took longer than it had to because of the electricity and then the ghosting. Let's see if I. I was trying to see if I could do a spin jump on him from word go. Do I want to? Oops. Or, honestly, I think a fire drive would kill them all, wouldn't it? And I think that does eight. We'll just do a power shell. Maybe a... just Yeah, just one FP for a super hammer. As well, before they have a chance to charge themselves up. Uh, but I forgot that wouldn't actually finish off the last guy. Well, as long as he stays on the ground, that's fine. When they charge up in the air, that's a bigger issue, because you can't hit them with a jump attack, effectively. But if they charge up on the ground, uh, the hammer can hit them without shocking themselves, because it's considered an indirect attack. Rage, very useful for not fighting these guys. Moving mechanisms, didn't even really have a chance to look at those right here. Focus on the clouds. Sorry, no. I should be looking at the pattern of the rolling thing before I start jumping. I think the pink and the blue one don't really line up that much. If I could get to the, no, that might look a bit too far. I'm trying to figure out if I could get to the pink one, could I Yoshi ride across? Oh. Bad at these sorts of patterns. So let's just kind of go for it. Yeah, the last one just doesn't seem to line up. Or maybe, do I need to jump backwards? Never think about that. And it would help if I could actually, like, you know, 
hit the target of what I'm trying to jump on. Yeah. Like, I'm being too cautious with my jumping to try to not jump too far, and then I'm just, like, not jumping forward at all. Okay, that was the wrong timing, I guess. That one just... Was at it. I've just been a little bit more aggressive with my thumbstick. Why can't I just like not make the jump? Why is that the hard part of this? Like I think I've figured out the pattern now. There we go. That should not have been so hard. Ice storm. Ah. Oh, well, we can easily throw away the dried mushroom. By that, I mean, use it, I guess. We are down one hit point. Jump over there. Let's see how many star pieces there are. We've got one. And one is equal to... 100%. All right. <laughs> that was the only one here. That's very nice to know. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Now I know that I am apparently very bad at jumping puzzles. A bit concerned about this endeavor. I think we need Yoshi for this one. Godzilla. Ah, I think it might be too low even for that. We need to... Ah! Yeah, I think Koops might be the solution. And to shell across to, um... Yes, excellent. Station key. As we saw downstairs. This room took us a lot longer than it should have. We got through it eventually. That was just a little side excursion. Pushing forward. Green lock, as nice color coded. Ah, we're outside on the deck with a very nice sunset. I like what they've done there stylistically. I think that's where we're gonna have to end it for today. We've got a bit more to go, but I'm running out of time for my recording today, so I'm gonna have to call it quits there. I'll see you guys later as we continue to explore Riverside Station, try to find these ne'er do wells and what they're up to. I'll see you guys later. Bye.